If my goal is to integrate the function f of x equals 3x squared over the interval from negative 1 to 2, I would see that as this symbol. So my first goal is just to label the function f of x equals 3x squared. If I want to find the antiderivative, what function has a derivative that is equal to 3x squared, I would write, well, 3x squared comes from x to the cubed power, because if we do the power rule, 3 comes down up front here and gives us that minus, um, minus 1 from the exponent to get 2, plus my c value. Now, our c value, since we're finding our uh, integral over an interval, isn't necessarily needed here, because we're going to find an exact value. So if I take this function here, x cubed, and that's going to be my integral, my antiderivative of my function, we can then say from negative 1 to 2 of 3x squared dx, that is equal now to our antiderivative, x to the third, over the interval from negative 1 to 2. From here now, that ends up being equal to my antiderivative from 2, when 2 is plugged in for x, of the antiderivative of negative 1 plugged in for x. Okay, From there, well, 2 in for x gets us 2 cubed minus negative 1 cubed. Well, 2 cubed just ends up being 8. Well, negative 1 cubed, again, is negative 1, but 2 wrongs make a right, so we have 9. So, our final answer here, the integral from negative 1 to 2 of 3x squared dx is 9, meaning the area underneath the curve from negative 1 to 2 of 3x squared is equal to 9.